While there may be many consumers of cannabis, here at Tobacco University, the goal is to make you an informed cannabis consumer. So here in this video lecture, we're going to go over just that to allow you to be an informed uh, consumer here. All right, let's go through the steps you need uh, to being an informed cannabis consumer. So first off, if not provided, request it. What's that referring to? Well, if they're not provided the information, you need to reach or you're requesting the information that you need. So you want to ask for results from the original analytical report or the original certificate of analysis. So this is when you're looking at purchasing cannabis, it's great to see a label, it's, uh, but we want to also be getting and requesting, if it's not provided to us, that analytical report. And what's the analytical report kind of tell us? Well, it is going to tell us potential uh, THC levels, and this is the main cannabinoid associated with cannabis. Some growers are looking for the highest levels possible, while others are concerned about the THC levels in their plants to maintain federal compliance to be classified as hemp. So a lot of growers are concerned with THC, and it's not necessarily just the most THC possible. Then the other cannabinoid of great interest is usually CBD, and this uh, cannabinoid also is also a focus with many growers, uh, with many looking for high levels for medical benefits, and also to maintain classification as hemp while keeping their THC level below 0.3%. So what classifies it uh, as marijuana or hemp would be that THC level uh, above or below that 0.3%. However, for the true medical benefits, a lot of growers are looking at breeding as high of a CBD percentage as possible while still keeping that THC level below that federal limit. Then we get into organic certified uh, cannabis. You know, why don't we see a lot of organic certification with cannabis? Well, if you're looking for a certified organic cannabis, pretty much you're not going to find it. Organic approaches can be used, uh, but certifying a crop as organic requires federal standards, and these are not written for cannabis. So again, again organic growing practices, uh, organic, yes, it's possible, but not certified organic at a federal level. So we get into indoor or outdoor production. Which one should I be looking? Which one is quote unquote better? Many consumers consider the indoor grown cannabis to be of higher uh, quality than outdoor grown. Indoor production typically yields a better looking flower and one with higher cannabinoids compared to outdoor production. So your indoor production with your controlled environment, your artificial lights, your good air circulation uh, can really uh, produce a high quality product uh, compared to the outdoor grown. However, this is because of the degree of those environmental controls an indoor grower has compared to the outdoor environment. However, this does not mean one is better than the other. The goal is to look at the, anal an the analytical report provided uh, and determine the quality of the cannabis flower based on that, not necessarily the indoor or outdoor growing nature. What does the analytical report say? Now, keep in mind your outdoor growing will have um, more uh, variability, a bit more inconsistencies, may not look quite as perfect as an indoor growing. That's just a factor of the environment, but really we should be looking at the, uh, the report of the cannabinoids, of the terpenes to really determine the quality of the flower, not necessarily the environment that it was produced in. Now that gets, brings us to that proper testing and that importance of the proper testing. So these analytical reports are very important for cannabis dry flower as well as other products. From a grower standpoint, uh, it allows the, for a certification of your final product. And if you're a consumer from standpoint, it allows for the knowledge of the product to be purchased is clean of potential contaminants with what is actually in the flower. When I say clean, we're referring to uh, the example of passing, for example, the pesticide test, the heavy metal test, um, things of that nature, aflatoxins. We want to make sure we're having a pure product, a clean product, that we're not going to have any contaminants that are going to be ingested in the consumption process. Now, we want to request lab results. What's part of making you an informed consumer? Well, if you're not provided with the information to be informed, you need to then seek that information out yourself. Testing is required by cannabis dry flower as well as other products. So if not directly provided to you, you can and you should be requesting for that information. A product label is a good start, as we can see here. This is a great start, but you really want the original analytical report. Now that uh, label is great for comparison, looking at one versus another and kind of doing comparison that way. The reason why you want that original analytical report is it's going to give you some more information. 
uh, the numbers should be the same. So what's the difference? If you're comparing your numbers here to your numbers on the label, they're going to be the same. So why go through the trouble of asking for this analytical report? Well, you want to have such details as the report date, the date it was collected, the lab ID, the product description, and the lab name. All these will help ensure the test results match the lot for the product you're looking to purchase. Uh, and distant dates or inconsistencies are red flags that should result in caution before purchasing or using that particular uh, cannabis product. You want to see everything match up that you can, but then you want to see those additional details. And when in doubt, you can always contact the lab to see if they can confirm the batch number, the date received, the test uh, results, uh, the company they were testing for, because that all just gives you more information uh, to be informed that the product you're purchasing is actually supported by this documentation and you can ensure a safe product and therefore you'll be an informed and well knowledgeable consumer.